heart's a yearning for the folks at home when Christmas times are coming. Ain't you hear him bell ring and ring and joy to all hear them sing? When it's night I'll be going back to my country home. Christmas times are coming, Christmas times are coming. Holly's in the window, home where the wind blows. Can't walk for running, Christmas time's a coming. Can't you hear them bell ring and ring and ring and joy? Oh, hear them sing. When it's night, I'll be going back to my country home. Christmas time's a coming, Christmas time's a coming, Christmas time's a coming. Christmas times are coming, Christmas times are coming, Christmas times are coming, and I know I'm going home. All right, everybody, welcome back. And, you know, we always like to share some good, funny news on the show. Um, and, you know, we, I don't know, bodily, bodily functions... You know, going off is something that that we that we like to talk about on the show, and there's there's no different today. A Florida woman pulled a knife on a man who complained about her farts. Police say uh, in Daniel Beach. Okay, we don't need that commercial going. Okay, well we didn't need that. Okay. Uh, in Dania Beach, Florida, a woman faces an aggravated assault charge after authorities say she passed gas in line at a Dollar General store and pulled a knife on a man who complained about it, citing a Broward Sheriff's Office report. The Miami Herald reports 37-year-old Shanita Yvette Wilson passed gas while waiting in line at Dollar General Sunday night. And upset a nearby customer. The report says the offended customer and Wilson then got into an argument in reference in the defending defendant farting loudly. Oh my goodness. So that leads to question. Ugh. If if you really have to pass gas or fart in a store, go somewhere where nobody's around. <laughs> you know, I, do, I you know, I, I hate to say this, but but I've done that before. You know, you, you can't wait to get out. I just go to the corner of the store and just you know let it go. Oh my goodness! And so um, that that's what happens. And uh, some other weird news going on. Uh, okay, so a woman left with fear of owls. After a religious grooming by a doctor wins twenty thousand in euros in a payout, so Sally Brayshaw became terrified by the birds after going to a religious meeting where a preacher spoke of sacrificing one. Okay, well, I mean that—that's a little weird. I mean, uh, I mean, she won a payoff. Over the preacher, but you know, um, it is what it is. So that's our weird news of the day. And remember, the city of Laurel's got a lot of good things going on right now for their Christmas. Uh, we've got the parade tomorrow at 10 o'clock, as well as the Kiwanis Pancake Days tomorrow. So that's going to be tomorrow. Um, remember, come by New Look. New Look Boutique, Antique Stores, uh, to see Miss Suzanne Williams. They've got a lot of cool stuff here. They've got candles. They've got goats. So it's time for my weekly bath, so I'll be taking that tomorrow. No, I'm just kidding. I really take showers every day, but uh, it's time for my weekly bath. And I'll be getting that goat soap. Um, so 
thank you, thank you guys for listening. Uh, again, we, we'd like to thank uh, Raising Cane's, our, our main sponsor. We'll be back over there uh, next week on Tuesday and Thursday. Um, Kim's Nissan, a uh, great place to go get you a, a vehicle. Go by and see uh, any of the salesmen there. Stacy Smith is a, is a great one. Uh, Wayne County over there. Go see those guys. We'll be broadcasting there live with our Something to Talk About Sports Review show. Kinsley and I will be back with uh, Bryn Jones on the uh, show with us, as well as Big Ten Bob. We'll be picking the championship games tomorrow. Um, tonight, we've got a few championship games going on, and I'm going to pick those for you, okay, before we leave the show today. You got uh, Northern Illinois taking on uh, it's uh, Buffalo. Buffalo's the 21st ranked team in the, in the country, I believe. No, wait, that's basketball. They're not ranked. Um, so, uh, Buffalo's a three-and-a-half point favorite. I'm going to give the edge to uh, Northern Illinois, and so give them the win there. Uh, and also, in the Pac-12 championship, you have Utah, the Utah Utes, taking on the Washington Huskies. And Washington is favored by five-and-a-half. I'm going to go with the Washington. So, uh, the Huskies and uh, Washington there. So, thank you guys for listening today. It's been a lot of fun. Thanks to Miss Suzanne Williams for joining us uh, today on the mm-hmm. show. And, uh, again, thanks to... Uh, Garcia Donuts for some great chocolate glazed donuts. Also good. Uh, and so um, we'll be back tomorrow doing it live from Kim's Nissan. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to be picking games, talking about the state championship games from today. So I plan on going and getting some wings and grilling some wings, going and eating some pancakes, getting full tomorrow morning, uh, just enjoying the weekend with friends and family and having a great time watching some football. So um, thank you guys again. Uh, We wish everybody a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa. Uh, So, you know, so y'all have a good one. We'll see you uh, tomorrow. And here's a classic um, from the U.S. United States Air Force Band And singing sergeants, it's the Carol of the Bells. Thanks for listening. We'll be back tomorrow with Something to Talk Sports Review. Bye-bye now. Once you hear words of the cheer from everywhere, feeling the air, oh, what they call